today's video, I'm going to answer a question that is almost as old as time itself. But I guess it was created right before time was created? Yeah. The, the question is, is why are there 60 seconds in a minute? And why are there 60 minutes in an hour and 24 hours in a day? And like, who came up with all of this? And so before I get to the answer, I want to give you a brief introduction of who I am. If you're new here, I'm Tyree, and this is Wrist Unwound, where we like to talk about where watches and stories meet. And in this time, instead of talking about the watches, we're talking about the time that it measures. And so one day I had this weird inclination of just trying to understand how does time work. I had watched some great videos about atomic time and UTC, but then I went at a deeper level, but like, why do we measure it the way we do? And for this, you have to go way back, like, like way back, like 4,000 years to the Babylonians back. You see, the Babylonians measured everything under a system called the sexmagesimal system. The sexmagesimal system is a base root 60 measurement. In our modern day, we use a base root 10. So tens, hundreds, thousands, 10,000s, things like that. All numbers more than I have in my bank account. But the sexmagesimal system is base 60. And it was because 60 is really a great number when it comes to dividing things. So let's take 10, for instance. You can take 10, can be divided by 1, by 2, by 5, and by 10. But when you take 60, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 15, 20, 30. Like 60 really allows you to really be able to break the numbers apart. Another interesting fact is actually how those Babylonians used to count using their hands. So if I were to ask you to count to 10 using your hands, you're probably going to do something like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Neat. We use a base root 10 system. We have 10 fingers. Makes sense. But what the Babylonians did was they counted a little differently. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Throw a finger up there. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. And that'll get you to 60. So with two hands, you're able to count to 60, do multiple types of division, multiplication. It makes it a little bit easier when you don't have an iPhone in your pocket or a calculator, which wasn't invented for a couple thousand years later. And so that's what led to them using the base root 60 system. Now, what is also amazing is it's not only seconds that are affected by this. If you think about almost all of our measurements of time, they are all measured in this base root 60 system. The day is broken up into 24 hours, which is two 12 hours. The, two, the 12 actually represents the stars in the sky and the 12 zodiac signs, which also align with the 12 months, which goes into the full circle of the year in a circle 360 degrees. And a year used to be 360 days. Like, it's actually kind of crazy how much this system impacts our lives and how many of us have never heard of the sexmagesimal system. Well, I can nerd out about this all day and I can go into deeper, but I'm sure you just came in for the question of understanding why are there 60 seconds in a minute? But if you found this video valuable and you just want to say thank you, just hit subscribe somewhere around here because that really helps me out. And if you want other people to learn this knowledge so that they can understand why we have this many seconds in a minute, hit the like button wherever that is, depending on the device that you're using. Um, I really appreciate you guys spending your time with me today. You could have been anywhere in the world and you decided to spend it with me. And for that, I am incredibly thankful. I hope that you, your family, and your collections are all blessed as you move out in the world. So this is Tyree. God bless and peace. Don't forget to subscribe. Mm.